Hello, we're the Hara and you're watching EMP. Have a good one. Hi guys, it's Anna from EMP. I'm at Reading 2021 and I'm here with Ahara. Hi guys. Hello. 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 So, you opened up the, the main stage west. How was that? It was mental. Crazy, bonkers. Yeah, it, was a bit, it was a bit mad. Uh, very nervous before we went on, but yeah, smashed it. It was ecstatic. We've uh, we dreamt about doing this for so long. Um, I was, we were saying on the way here, we were like, we just want to come to Reading and Leeds to watch it, like before we'd even been booked. And then the next year we got booked for the festival, we're like, it's just insane. Dream come true it. kind of thing, yeah. 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 That's awesome, man. And we, we saw you guys, we saw the sets, like, you were amazing. So I'm really looking forward to your tour dates now. So I want to come and see you. Yeah, you better come. Yeah, yeah, so tell us a bit about the tour, what's coming up for you guys. <laughs> um, so it starts at the end of September. We're doing 10 dates. Um, I don't London, Manchester, but everywhere, pretty much in the UK, yeah. um, we're coming to, and yeah, come along. Come along, have a party, mosh out. There's a couple of, well, half of them have nearly have probably sold out now because we're just massive. <laughs> uh, but, but yeah, it's gonna be sick. Can't wait to yeah. to get back on the road constantly and do the full show. Full show, yeah. Not smaller sets, but yeah, I'm excited, man. Nice. And talking about touring and stuff, could you share with us like the funniest slash weirdest thing Zach that happened? Zach is the weirdo out of this band, so he's gonna tell you the weird story. Fake news. Um, fake news. The weird stories. What are weird stories? We always get asked this, but we I don't get actually asked know. This question and we always go blank. Well, people say, "What's the funniest point?" Yeah. And then we don't have a clue because it's there is you're some on tour, funny it's things. All funny, like you're constantly yeah. laughing. But you can't really tell people that, like... What are you laughing at? What's yeah, funny? Yeah, pretty much. There's quite a few, like, little gem moments. I fell off stage <laughs> once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really funny. Yeah, grew. <laughs> the funniest thing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, we're just pretty boring. We're professionals, that's why. Yeah, yeah. And anything, like, maybe bad that happened during a set? Like, anything gone terribly wrong, but you can kind of laugh about it now? Oh, yeah. Oh, where do we, we start? We, yeah, we have a... Uh, We've had a few times where um, like we've not got track in our ears, we've not got click in our ears, like the PAs have broke, we've well, had a show in, down in One Gilford, thing happened right? on the way here where we were told that our set was cut by 10 minutes. And I think this, so we had a yeah. half hour set, but we were told like as we were traveling down south. I'm that panicking our, now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That our set was cut by ten minutes, and we were just like in like having a beer, having a beer in the van, three hours into the journey, and and then all of a sudden, it was like ah oh, oh no, we have to drop two songs, and then all our our lights and stuff and everything, and every, it was just it all descended into chaos for about four hours of the evening. Yeah, like the and panic, like the, yeah. the auto stressing sheer, out. devastating panic, and then apparently it was a typo on an email, and our set had not changed at all. And so it was all fine, but it was it was for like four hours of just like hatred and despair. And so. it was really busy as well, weren't we? So yeah. we was like frantically trying to get all the people and be like, "Is this right? Have we been caught?" And then yeah, finally he come back. And Smashed it though. Hey. Good that like they didn't cut your time. Like yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Everything goes to plan when you want it to. <laughs> yeah. True. True that. Uh, so what's your favourite way to pass time when uh, when you're on tour, like between gigs? Between gigs, uh, well, at home. We like our video games, don't we? We like video games, we like go fishing. Oh, yeah. Um, go fishing a lot. I caught a barbel out. the other day. Caught a barbel the other day. I really sexy fish. <laughs> like, good good looking fish, innit? It's like yeah, a good looking fish. It's a fish. nice fish. Um, <laughs> yeah, we go fishing, play a lot of Warzone, and uh, I've just got stranded deep and stuff like that, and FIFA yeah. and. Yeah, we just just game and chill out, really. Just three top lads. I, three I, top I like lads. to pet my dog as well. So do you take uh, like the console with you, like when you when you go on tour? Yeah, well, yeah. In the tour van, we've got um, we had our tour van done up. Shout out to Scoot, Scoot, um, who did up our tour van, and we've got like an Xbox and a TV in there. So we play FIFA and. Uh, we're on Dirt 5 and NHL, so we also play them in the van as well. 
because we got them for free. Um, and there you go. Um, so is there any album or artist that you're kind of like uh, obsessed with at the minute that you've been listening to in a loop? Uh, maybe not obsessed. I, I've been listening to a lot of like Enter Shikari, Don Brocco, um, Bring Me, it's loaded. Royal Bloods just brought out a new one. Yeah, yeah, got, pretty cool, pretty cool. Got a couple of couple of little gems coming out in a minute. John Mayer. John, John Mayer, Mayer Zach's a big... John Mayer, I love you, be my husband. Yeah, there we go. John Mayer, if you're watching. <laughs> so... Muse. Yeah, we, we were watching their live set. A while, Limp well, Biscuit. A few weeks. Oh, yeah. Limp Biscuit, yeah. At Lollapalooza. It's all sick, really, yeah. Talent created set was cool as well. Just talking about other people's sets, but yeah. <laughs> nice. And um, what artist would you say is in your wish list for collaborations? Ooh, a collab. Cardi B. Really? Yeah. All right. Uh, I don't know. He's headlining, so I'd say like Posty. Posty oh, would be a good, be a good collab. Like get him on a rock track. H. H would be a good one. He's from near us. We're all Manchester based. I like the, I there, like when so. worlds collide. Yeah, so that kind of th yeah. those kind of two spectrums of music coming together. I think that'd be wicked. John Mayer, come on, sort me out. John Mayer, I love you. <laughs> sort us out, either. Um, that'd be so cool. Uh, bring me. Bring me, yeah. Be yeah. cool. Then. But yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't know. Steps. Yeah, Step. obviously. S -club. Top of the list. Seven. Yeah. Nice. And uh, would you say you have any hidden talent? Hidden talent. I'm going to take the mic off Zach because he has got one that he can show you right now. Take oh, it there away, we Zach. go. He's got hand talent. Whoa. 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 That, try it. It is hard. It's hard. What am I looks. supposed to see there? Well, it's just like. Some, I mean, try it. Literally, try it. And your head will just go. Yeah, try it. Go on, try it. Try it. So you point and then switch it and then keep doing it fast. Hard, isn't it? There you go. Okay. I thought I was going to see like, you know, a finger dislocating or something weird, like, you know, but no, it's just like coordination. Okay, that's, that's, yeah, that's a cool one. How about you guys? Hidden talents. Josh is a magician. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm good at card tricks. I figure out his card way. trick. He did, no, he, fi he figured out one last night. Fair enough. Josh is a wizard. Yeah, Josh is a wizard. I just fish, really. <laughs> just fish. That's about it. Decent fisherman, yeah. Finding sexy fish. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah. Finding that sexy album, fish. That's our debut album. <laughs> sexy, sexy fish by fish. the horror. And then the album cover is just this. Yeah. yeah. All the social promo just. <laughs> Uh, so if you could be a superhero for a day, who would you be and what would you do? Oh, well I, I have the same answer for this. If I could have a superpower, I'd be a metamorph because I can do anything then. I can fly, I can swim for ages, be underwater, I can be massive, I could be a building if I wanted to be a building. But uh, if I could be... I want to be a building. If I could be any superhero, who's a sick superhero? Maybe like Spider-Man or something. Spider-Man's gonna be cool. It's a cool little. Anyone that's like has a a normal life and then lives a superhero life as well. Yeah. Easy life. <laughs> easy life. Yeah. We'd be easy life. Like any any superhero? <laughs> ha! I like Batman. Okay. <laughs> End of that. And how about a super villain? Oh, Joker. All yeah, day. Joker, shit. All Daisy. I'd be, I'd be Doc Ock. Doc Ock from Spiderman. <laughs> yeah, Doc Ock with his arms and that. I'd be Doodle cool Bob. Glasses. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Doodle Bob. Doodle Bob. Yeah, Doodle Bob's there the most, most heinous villain ever. Villain. Yeah, yeah. From SpongeBob. Yeah, cool. <laughs> and would you rather try to survive a zombie apocalypse or an alien invasion? Zombies. Ah, zombies, yeah. I'd absolutely nail all the zombies in the world. Like, if you didn't know, we're the hardest band in we the are. world. Just make sure um, you say that again. Yeah, we're the hardest band in the world. Hardest band in the world. Um, so, yeah, zombie apocalypse all day. If aliens come, I am not beefing aliens. Like, no. 
No yeah. chance. I'm yeah. just going to be like, How I advanced imagine. are these aliens? Exactly, we need specifics. Yeah. This is a you very got, broad question. If an alien and, and, comes and actually, down. building on that, zombies, fast, slow. Are they George A. Romero zombies? Are they 28 exactly. days later zombies? Yes. Come on, we need specifics, man. That's the thing. I, I don't know. You like don't You know. don't know what apocalypse you, you get. Like, you, <laughs> you know, you can't pick and choose your apocalypse or your alien. But alien, I think, if they get to Earth, and they're invading, I guess the technology is much advanced. We're done for. <laughs> we're screwed, like, we're honestly, done for. aliens Crack come in, here, chill. We're, good, we're good chefs, right? So, ah. feta chili hot dogs on the, we get, yeah, the spicy chicken burgers, the lot. Aliens, if you're watching this and you want to be friendly, it's us. Lads. Hot dogs. Three top lads. Hot dogs from three top lads. And if you could grab a cup of coffee with a character from a movie, a book, or a TV series, who would it be and why? SpongeBob. <laughs> Chiller. I just get excited about coffee because I love coffee. Yeah, I saw your face when I said coffee. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, coffee. Um, yeah. I, I just did a froze. I just did. I just did a froze. I did a froze. I don't know. Johnny Depp. Any. <laughs> Any. That's the first person that came to my head. Did you ever see the cartoon version of Sword in the Stone? I used to love that. Yeah, the old Disney one. I used to the wizard in that. I used to love that wizard. Merlin. Merlin. Superheroes. If you if you if you're chilling with a superhero, that would be pretty cool. Like Thor. Coffee with Thor. Yeah, that'd be chiller. There we go. Cool. So, guys, can you just like leave us with a message for your UK and European fans and tell us like what's next for you and what should people keep an eye out for? Europe, Europe. is definitely on the cards for next year. next year. Hopefully, summer, post summer next year. European tour, European tour, festivals, European as well. festivals over there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Obviously, we're touring later in the year, as yeah, we've yeah. said. Uh, get the remaining tickets for that. Uh, we'll be at a couple of festivals if you want to get some last minute festy ticks. Slam dunk, transmit, neighbourhood, and then tour. And then tour. Leeds tomorrow. Oh, Leeds, Leeds Festival tomorrow. Oi, oi. There we go. Cool. That's it. That's it. Thank you, guys.